Hi, welcome to this Ash Wednesday experience provided by Quest Church, a community of grace. My name is Casey and I'm the pastor of Quest Church in Urbana, Illinois. Well, today is Ash Wednesday and Ash Wednesday begins the Christian worship season of Lent. And Lent is a special time that is meant to spiritually prepare us for our celebration of Jesus' victory over sin and death on Easter through his resurrection. Lent is a special period of reflection, repentance, and reconnection. We are meant to reflect on our own lives. Uh, we're also meant to repent of our sin. Or another way of saying that is to turn away from the destructive, self-centered uh, thoughts, attitudes, and habits of our lives. But we're also meant to reconnect with the God who made us and who loves us. We reflect, we repent, we reconnect with God. And all of this begins on Ash Wednesday. And Ash Wednesday uh, gets us ready for Lent in a really unique way by reminding us of our limits, especially the limit of mortality. We are reminded at the very beginning of Lent that we will die. Our days are numbered. But the fact is, the Bible teaches us that there is a great deal of wisdom to be gained by reflecting on the limits of our lives, including the limit on life itself that we call death. And so uh, we are marked on Ash Wednesday by the ashes as a way of remembering this in a very tangible way. And this goes back to the biblical creation story that says, you know, in the beginning, God created human beings out of the dust of the earth and breathed into them the breath of life, God's spirit. And so we say, from the dust you came to dust you will return. And in the scripture passage that you heard read just a moment ago, you hear um, this, this call again to reflect, repent, and reconnect. This comes from Paul's second letter to the, the Corinthians, or 2 Corinthians, a book in the New Testament. And, and you heard Paul saying, come back to God. And then he points to the unique power of Jesus Christ to reconnect us with God because those destructive, self-centered um, desires and, and actions cause a separation between us and God. And, and he says that Jesus Christ is the one who has made us right with God through his life, his death, and his resurrection. And so because of Christ, Paul says, don't squander this gift. Don't don't see how kind God is and then just choose to ignore it. And he says, today is the day to act. Today is the day of salvation. And so on this Ash Wednesday, at the beginning of Lent, this is our invitation to, to come back to God, to reflect, to repent, to reconnect with God. One of the ways that Christians traditionally do this during the season of Lent is, is we make space for this in our lives, uh, often by fasting or, or giving up or abstaining from something for a short amount of time. And, and for many people, they fast or abstain from food. So maybe they give up um, a particular kind of food during uh, the weeks of Lent. Maybe that's chocolate or sugary sweets or alcohol or something else. Others may choose to skip one or two meals during the week. And so maybe you skip a meal on Wednesday and you take that half hour at lunchtime instead of eating to, to pull out your Bible to read and to pray. Uh, maybe you choose to add something to your life that's going to uh, help you reconnect with God and reflect and repent. Uh, but the important thing to do is, is to uh, be intentional during these weeks to reflect, repent, and reconnect with God. Come back to God through Jesus Christ. And remember that today is the day of salvation, the day of new and never-ending life. 
Hi, this is Angel Taylor, the Discipleship Director of Quest Church. The Ash Wednesday reading for us today comes from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 20, through 2 Corinthians 6, verse 2. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering of our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. As God's partners, we beg you not to accept this marvelous gift of God's kindness and then ignore it. For God says, at just the right time, I heard you. On the day of salvation, I helped you. Indeed, the right time is now. Today is the day of salvation. Just like that, sing verse 2. Battles behind us. Battles behind us. Battles ahead. God, you are for us. So what stands against the Empress promise? You're never. Name. 